it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are doing well so for today's video okay here's what's going on all right we have a sponsor so this video is in partnership with yes style and you guys know I've been working with yes style for the past year and I've really enjoyed trying out so many different products from J brands and K beauty brands I have been loving like getting into the skincare products you guys have been recommending products left and right and yes style has also been sending me products to try out I also get like a coupon code so I can pick up different products that I'm interested in and it's just been really exciting to work with them because I get to discover new brands and I think K Beauty and J Beauty brands are killing it with skincare and they have products that we don't normally find in the Western market so that's why I'm always happy to work with Yesta so thank you Yesta for sponsoring this video so what we're gonna do in this video is showcase the eyes because we're all wearing masks right now right safety first health first we're wearing masks to keep ourselves safe and so the lips aren't really in right now you are more playing up the eyes right so we are gonna try out some eye products from yes style I'm gonna showcase some of the skincare products so we have some eye creams to test out I also have a face wash we have some eye masks and then we have an eyeshadow palette which spoiler alert is fantastic like look at my eyes right and I'm also testing out some other products in this video that I picked up as well so I have the new Fenty skin tint you're gonna see that in action I have a new bronzer a new powder and a couple of lip products from Christian Audet as well so if you want to see how I play up my eyes using these products from yes style and you want to go ahead and pick any of these products up there will be an extra 12% off okay I have a code I will leave it linked below and I will leave it right here it will give you an extra 12% off those selected items plus my code still gives you a discount on other items on the website so definitely go ahead and feel free to shop at your leisure pick up these products have fun with them and maybe you can even recreate this eyeshadow look if you pick up this eyeshadow palette so let's go ahead and jump into the products I'm gonna show you the eye products first and then we'll jump into the makeup look so let's go ahead and get right Right into it all right guys so as usual I'm starting off with a clean freshly washed face and I actually went ahead and used this face wash that was sent to me by yes style this is the rice water bright foaming cleanser from the face shop and I love K Beauty and J Beauty face washes because they're so foamy yet they don't feel drying at all I have very oily skin so I love a foaming cleanser that's not gonna make my skin feel tight so I'm gonna show you guys just how creamy and luxurious this foam is so I grabbed a pea sized amount of this cleanser and you don't even need this much to get the rich lather that I'm gonna show you a little bit goes a long way so this cleanser will definitely last you a very long time so I created the rich foam me lather and I just apply that all over my skin in circular motions I pull a little bit down my neck but I'm just applying this all over my face and I use this 60 second rule which means you wash your face for 60 seconds so you can get the full effects of the cleanser and then I just rinsed with lukewarm water and my skin again does not feel tight it doesn't feel dry I love that and it has this really fresh scent it's a like a light almost like a flower scent to it like a light airy flower and I love a light fragrance in my cleanser it's relaxing and it's not too strong where it's overwhelming it's just a pleasant scent and now I want to go ahead and try out these eye patches so I've seen eye patches all around making their rounds but I haven't actually tried any and they sent me two of them so we're gonna try this hyaluronic acid collagen eye patch this is from Aronix. This looks very interesting. This packaging though, look at the blue. Ooh. So in the lid, you see there is a little spatula included and there is a good seal on this. So inside we have the eye patches. Ooh, they're sliding all around, but there you have them. Ooh, and there is the hydrating liquid in there as well. I'm just gonna scoop one out because we're gonna apply two different ones. Ooh, it's very slippery. I am just gonna go ahead and apply that under my eyes. Oh, excuse me. That is very slippery and slimy. Wow, it 
it okay it's it's been held in place so the next one is from high mish this is the hydro gel eye patch this one also has a little spatula and you definitely need one of these tools to grab them because they are very slippery in the container and it's sliding down my face so I'm gonna hurry up and grab this one and apply it on this side and they're different colors so we have a blue and we have a pink I am gonna let this sit the instructions aren't in English so I'm just gonna let them sit on my face under my eyes for about 10 minutes but I'm gonna lay back so I can relax so they don't slide off my face I'll be right back all right it's been about 10 minutes let's take these off these are very cool and they feel very nice under the eyes they're very soothing and then they leave behind this hydrating gel which I am going to use as my moisturizer excuse me it feels very cooling again so if you want a relaxing eye treatment under the eyes hmm, and the gel is actually absorbing pretty quickly into my skin as well so hey use it to moisturize the rest of your face why not I should say that I don't feel like a major difference between either one of these so I think you can't go wrong if you just want to try out one or even both. It's up to you. Just choose the one that, I don't know, that appeals to you the best. Maybe the blue packaging or maybe the pink. I don't know. So I'm going to let this kind of absorb into my skin for about 20 minutes. Yeah, I think that's good. And then I'll come back and I want to try out a couple of the eye creams. All right, so I went ahead and I ate some dinner and I want to go in with two of the eye creams. So we have the Scenic The Right Self Clinic Snail Matrix Eye Cream and Claire's Fundamental Eye Brightening Gel. So the Scenic Snail Matrix Eye Cream, that has a lightweight kind of gel cream texture and it, ooh, it feels really smooth going under my eyes and it doesn't feel like a thick heavy emollient cream, it feels like a thick gel like a cream gel and I really like that because it feels very slippery very slimy just like the snail implies but it doesn't feel heavy so we're gonna apply it on that side and now I'll go in with the Claire's brightening gel so this one is more of a true gel texture and it feels a lot more lightweight and not as slippery as the Matrix Snail version. So I think this one would be better suited for you if you have oily under eyes or for like daytime wear if you're applying it under makeup because this one feels very, very lightweight. This one feels a little bit more hydrating, but it sinks into the skin really beautifully. I love the texture of this one. I don't know, this one feels a little bit more luxurious. So if I had to choose between the two right now upon initial application, I would go with the scenic one. Here's an up close view of my under eyes. So this side is with the snail cream and then this one is with the water gel. This one for me is a little bit more smooth and slick. This one is more of a very lightweight gel. So here you have it. I do like the feel of them, but again, I am still leaning towards a preference for the snail cream. All right, so I actually have brow pencils to try out. These are from Tony Moly. They're called the Lovely Eyebrow Pencil. And I have three shades. So there's a brown, a black, and even a gray, which I found very interesting. Usually you'll see dark brown, you'll see black, you'll see even a uh, auburn shade for redheads, but I've never seen a gray shade. So here's the gray shade. It's a really rich, dark gray so it's not gonna be a light shade at all that actually might work if you have really cool toned dark brows here's the brown shade which has a warm undertone to it so that is gonna be more for you if you have red hair or really warm colored hair maybe even blondes can use that and then the black shade which I'm gonna use is a soft black and it actually does look black so I'm wondering if it's gonna be too dark for my hair I kind of want to try this gray I'm not gonna lie to you alright and then on the other side we have a spoolie brush 
so that's always a good thing so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows I low-key want to try the gray but I think it will just be way too gray let me try it anyway Let, let's try it out cuz I'm just it's so interesting that there's a gray brow shade right so all right let me see how it looks up against my hair color see it look oh see it looks a, it looks gray but at the same time it's in it's different I'm gonna go with it I'm really gonna go with it I really think it's cute it's different my brow hairs are pretty much almost jet black and I hate to you know what let me try the gray on this side and then I will go in with the black to see how it goes so this brow pencil is actually going on pretty nicely like it glides on but it's dry enough that it's not just slipping and sliding around and the point is a thicker point so it's not a fine point like I'm used to doesn't that look interesting that looks interesting let me tell you all right let's see how different the black looks you guys I never thought I'd be here putting gray in my brows right now but I just thought it would be something fun to try and I don't know why it's making me so giddy. That's kind of silly that it's making me giddy, right? But the black is a softer black, right? But it does look very richly black. I don't know that this would be my go-to. I hope they have a dark brown in this pencil because the pencil itself is nice I do really like the texture and you see how quickly I was able to line my brow with it see the ooh, see the black doesn't look too bad but you see how isn't that interesting the black versus the gray let me actually try some of the brown and show you how it looks on my skin tone and my hair color the brown looks very warm, very red, but I can see this working really well for someone with light brows and light hair. So if you have like blonde hair and warm undertones, that might be good. I'm going to put the gray in the rest of this brow just to make sure it doesn't look as stark. Who would have thought that I would be over here filling in my brows with a gray brow pencil and low-key liking it? I like it guys. I'm not gonna even front. I feel like I can use the gray on the start of my brow and then use the black to outline the arch and stuff because the gray looks so soft and pretty. This is why I like getting like samples of products from brands because I don't necessarily try out everything and it's good to try different things just to see how they work and that's how you discover things. So this gray is going into my brow pencil drawer and I'm liking it. I am liking it. Hey guys, so I just got out the shower and I want to go ahead and try out these two other eye creams and then the daily eye mask. I'm going to relax for a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the Milky Dress Wrinkle and Whitening Eye Cream. So this is a whitening and wrinkle improvement. And then we have the Pyong Kong Yule Black Tea Time Reverse Eye Cream. So the Milky Dress one is more of a gel lotion rather than a cream. And then the Pyongyang, which I am probably butchering, is more of a true eye cream. It's a creamy formula rather than a gel. And I'm going to apply them both under my eyes and just around to the sides of my eyes and massage them in. These both feel very silky, kind of like the snail cream that we used before these also feel very smooth but this Pyong Kong one the black tube I'm not even gonna try to say the name that one actually feels a lot smoother and creamier kind of silkier this one definitely has more of a water gel feel so it's drying down quickly even though it still feels silky it almost absorbs a lot faster so it's all about what texture you prefer I prefer the creamier texture personally so this one feels really nice and then the scenic snail cream that we tried first I really like that one as well so we're gonna put on this eye mask and relax for a little bit 
So this one says that it has, let's see, thermal spring water and lavender blue water. So it has the little eye mask and it has little cutouts that you tear and then just place it over your eyes. So I am going to pop this on. It isn't scented. I thought it would be scented. And I'm going to just relax for a bit. So I'm going to lay down, relax, and I'll be right back. Y'all, I almost fell asleep. This was so comfortable. And it doesn't have a scent or anything. The underside is like a soft cotton feel and it warms on the eyes and it lasts for a really long time because right now it's still warming, but it's not hot. It's just a gentle warm feel. Oh my God, I love that. So that one is the Steam Base Daily Eye Mask, but I also have the ones from Cow. These are the Mega Rhythm ones. These are a gentle steam eye mask. So these come in a, just a little foil packet and these have a similar shape. And you just, again, you pop them on your eyes and go. These are scented though. These have a fragrance to them. This one has lavender on it. So if you wanted scented ones, I'd go with the Meg Rhythm ones. And if you wanted non-scented, go with the Steam Base. I prefer non-scented actually, because this was really soothing. I mean, it's lightly fragranced, very lightly fragranced. Oh yes. These are so cozy, guys. Um, something different to try. In the US, we don't really get things like this to try out, so I really love when I get K-beauty things. I can try something different, something that I wouldn't have thought to try, like a soothing eye mask. I usually go with something cooling, right? But I prefer warm masks, and this is fantastic. So I'm actually, <laughs> whew, I'm gonna have to come back and do the eye look with you guys, because I'm gonna go relax with this eye mask again and watch some TV. So I'ma see you guys in a bit. All right guys, it's actually a few days later and I filled in my brows and I have some concealer. I use the same pencils in my brows. I use the gray and the black to fill in my brows. I actually really like the gray one. I don't know, something new to try and I'm like, oh, I really like it. I'm gonna go in with some of my Hada Labo Premium Hydrating Lotion. These lotions and toners from K Brands, oh my god, they're so soothing and they're lightweight because we're gonna actually try a new skin tint and I think it's gonna be more hydrating. So I just want something light and moisturizing on my skin, nothing too heavy or emollient. We're gonna let that sit and we're gonna try out an eyeshadow palette from a K Beauty brand. So this is from the brand Co Rinko, and I'm gonna show you the swatches up close because I was really surprised by this. So this is called the Shabam Shabam Eyeshadow Bar Palette, and the shade that I got is 01 Shining Night. These shades are really creamy. So they're three mattes, which are varying tones of rosy neutrals. And then we have a shimmery bold red shade, which is stunning. And then a light champagne shade and a deeper nude bronze. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this to the eyes. I'm also gonna try out a new eyeshadow primer. This is from Juvia's Place. It's their Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. There are three shades available. I got shade number two to apply to my lids. This is a mm, like a light beige shade or like a tan shade. And I saw these pop up at Ulta and I was like, oh, let me find out Juvia's Place is doing an eyeshadow primer because that's perfect. They have all these eyeshadow palettes. Why haven't they done an eyeshadow primer all this time? And these are more pigmented, right? So instead of using concealer, you can use a skin tone shade, but it's gonna be a drier formula. It's not gonna crease as a concealer would. So I'm applying that all over my eyes, right? I really like this primer, and you're gonna see in a second how it transforms this eyeshadow palette. So we're gonna start out with the middle shade here, which is that rosy tone. And I'm gonna just blend that in my crease area back and forth. And that's gonna be our wash of color and it's gonna be our transition shade. And even though the shade doesn't pick up instantly, it builds up really well. And I'm impressed by the pigmentation of this eyeshadow palette. Again, I'm very surprised because with K Beauty and J Beauty brands, they tend to do very light eyeshadows, like the pigmentation isn't there because they're not heavy 
into eye makeup like we are like we're doing cut creases and bold eyeshadow looks they do very subtle eyeshadow the focus is mainly on skincare and beautiful complexions so they tend to have great skincare products but the eyeshadows eh, they tend to be hit or miss so I was surprised by this palette so you see how that color looks amazing right now we're gonna go in with the dark brown same brush and I'll just pack that on the outer V do you see that color now it's not a really deep shade which sometimes I want a deep shade on that outer V but if you're going for a very subtle look you don't need a rich dark brown so this is a more subtle palette you're not gonna get like a rich smoky eye out of this if you're my complexion or deeper because it's not like a dark blackened brown or even a black so once I apply that I'm gonna go in with the red shade the shimmer shade and I was wondering if I would need to use this damp but look at this when I applied this I was like okay come through Korinko let me find out you're out here this is a beautiful like ruby shimmery red it's stunning and it applies so well like, look at that I didn't have to dampen my brush and I'm sure the Juvia's Place primer has something to do with that as well so between the eyeshadow primer and the eyeshadow yeah that applied so well I was so impressed now for the brow bone I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade which is a beautiful pinky tone ivory shade and just buff it on that brow bone space and that again really beautiful shade you can use this on the lid to give you a nice wash of color or you can use it as a highlight here and I love that these shades aren't too light for my skin tone either. So these shades work for me under the brow as blending transition shades for deepening up the outer V. I like that. So then for the inner tear duct, I'm going to go in with the champagne shade, which is very sparkly. And again, I thought I would have to use this damp, but it applies really well without me having to do much of anything and it doesn't just flake away but it is very sparkly so just be mindful of that right it just looks really nice so I'm gonna go back in with the dark brown and build up on that outer V just a little bit where I went a little bit too far with the red and I just want to make sure that I bring the dark brown in right right all right and now as I said I'm gonna go in with a new skin tint you guys already guessed it's from Fenty I think I probably I'm gonna pop this into the thumbnail so you guys know so this is the ease drop blurring skin tint the shade I got is number 16 and it says shake well hold on let me shake this up so this is not gonna be a review it's more of a first impression for this product because I don't know how it's gonna go and I just picked it up and I wanted to share it with you guys I think that shade is actually really great and this is only available in 25 shades because it is such a sheer finish so one shade can span multiple skin tones and I think yeah this is perfect this is perfect I got a second shade so I got number 17 just in case but this one is the neutral undertone one the 17 is for warm undertones or more golden undertones and I'm I lean very neutral so yeah just gonna blend that in I like that it gives uh, ooh. It actually is giving me some coverage. I am surprised. I thought it was going to be more sheer, but I'm actually getting some coverage from this. It's not necessarily a medium coverage. It's more lightweight, but it's definitely covering like hyperpigmentation. Like I have a couple of spots on my upper lip. I don't know what happened there. I actually got a breakout here. I got a couple of breakouts over here and I'm wondering if that is the last foundation that I reviewed because I was testing it out for a few days and that's when I noticed the problem but I didn't want to claim that the foundation was causing it just in case it wasn't and I don't want to give that foundation a bad rap you know because I don't know what happened but that is nice look at this guys Luke Luke oh come through Fenty yeah 
else our good sis Rihanna is coming through in the clutch now I also have a new concealer to try so I have the Tarte ultra creamy shape tape concealer and I have two shades which one should I try again I got like H which I think is warmer and then I have S which is sand 47 S why am I not giving you the numbers 47 S and 47 H so let oh that looks a little bit too light so I'm gonna go in with this Clinique even better all over concealer this is also new this looks light too okay that didn't save me at all right so let's just blend it out and hope for the best so I'm gonna use my Anissa Beauty concealer brush these brushes I've been enjoying them so much and they actually have a sale right now so it's a buy two get one free which I think is a pretty decent um, deal so if you wanted to check them out the foundation brush that I use is also from Anissa Beauty so I've been trying them out and I've been liking them because I've been using a lot more synthetic brushes because I've been using more cream and liquid products and my food day is not suitable so I have to use synthetic brushes instead and I really do like like this foundation brush you see the triangle shape so it fits really perfectly under my eyes so all in all it's I've been happy with the Anissa brushes looking up close at the concealer I'm not in love with it like mm, I think this is definitely for dry skin for me it's a uh, it looks it looks okay I don't like it maybe it's the shade too I don't like it I, mm -mm. so that one is a skip for me now let's go in with this new powder that I got from Kosas because Anika told me to get it she was like girl you need to try this out so this is the cloud set powder from Kosas cosmetics the shade that I got is pillowy which is a light tan shade I actually got the shade that's meant for tan skin and it was too deep so I had to go and exchange it so you see this is very light with these types of powders that I'm gonna use as a setting powder I tend to go up a shade because it will deepen once it touches moisture so liquid foundation if you're setting your liquid foundation or your concealer it's gonna darken up so you might as well just go lighter right out the gate so it doesn't deepen up on your skin so pillowy is the shade that I went with it's a very lightweight powder there's not heavy coverage and I think that looks nice let's show you up close do you see that it didn't give tons of color it just blurred my skin a bit my ooh I like that as well all right good all right the next eye product I have I'm not gonna actually try but if you're interested in a waterproof mascara I think this one is great it's waterproof so that's why I don't want to put it on right now this is the Ishihan kiss me heroin makeup long and curl mascara it's super waterproof it's in black I used this before in another get ready with me video so I don't want to go in with a waterproof mascara I know from experience that that is difficult to come off so I'm just gonna go in with my regular mascara and then I'll be back to finish up the eyes all right so let's come back in I am so in love with this eyeshadow guys like I don't understand what's going on so yes style also sent me four waterproof gel eyeliners so I have four different shades here these are from McQueen and it actually says McQueen New York so I have a black shade which is number one smoky roasting latte dark brown which is number two and this is called espresso latte number three is french latte and then the last one i have is number five which is cherry blossom latte and these are really creamy as you can tell from the swatch on the back of my hand i'm gonna actually go in with the black shade on my waterline to see that is nice that is gliding on so well and giving me great pigmentation and if this is waterproof and long-lasting I love it I'm always on the lookout for gel eyeliners that are long-lasting so I can use them on my waterline and I hope that they don't burn because there's something about long wearing eyeliners that make my eyes burn and I hope this doesn't make my eye burn because that rich black is beautiful now I think I want to go in with number three which is the French latte and apply that on the lower lash line 
because it's like a dark bronze shade that applied really well also and then I'll go in with the number five shade the champagne and brighten up that inner lower lash line this is a trick that you can use instead of using like a cream eyeliner on your waterline use a champagne on that inner tear duct area just to brighten up the inner eyelid and it will look it lifts my eyes and brightens it so here you have the eyes right like look at the eyes guys tell me that's not stunning that red picks up so well I love it I absolutely love it all right let's go ahead and move on to the cheeks and I have something that you guys were asking about this is the cream blush light from Melt Cosmetics. This is new and I picked one up from Sephora, well two up from Sephora. So I have the shade Sandy Cheeks, which is the darker orangey shade, but it doesn't, it doesn't really look orange. I thought this was going to be more orange. So, excuse me, what is that? Why is it so, this is very light, are you serious? This is so light. Can you guys even see any color? What is that? What is that? No ma'am, no Pam. This is not doing, look, look, you see how light that tone is? Absolutely not. This would probably work great on a medium skin tone or a light skin tone. This is not for my skin tone. And this is one of the deeper shades. Let me check something. Dude, like this is the shade that they're showing on the website. And I, what, it is the deepest, richest shade. You know what? That is trash. See why I told you guys I wasn't going to pick that up? Oh god, regrets. I hate that so much. It's light for no reason. I also picked up Golden Hour, which is one of the shimmery ones. And this is very light too, but it's shimmery, so I'm like, maybe I can use it as a highlight. Let me try this one too. This is... This... This... This, this I can use as a cream highlight. But it's supposed to be a blush. It is not blushing a damn thing on my face. No, 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 no. I do not. I don't like. Oh, no, 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 no. Those are a flop. I don't like them one bit. No. No color. What is the point of this? I'm done with the cheeks. We're not doing any more cheeks. I'm over it. So, all right. Here's another thing that I picked up. Again, testing all these products out because why not? I am here for the girls, okay? So this is from NARS. This is exclusive at Nordstrom right now, but I'm sure it's going to come to other retailers. They're not just going to formulate a cream bronzer and leave us hanging on other retail sites, okay? No, absolutely not. So I got the deeper shade, which is Casino, and I'm going to grab some of that and pop it on my hairline. So this is a more neutral color. It, yeah, see, you can see it on my hairline, but it definitely isn't warm at all. It almost looks like a gray shade, so it would probably be great for a contour. Yeah, like, look at that. That's a good contour shade, but as a bronzer, right? No, I don't see this being a bronzer. Not for me. How? Well, on anybody, how is this going to be a bronzer? Because it, it definitely has a gray cast to it. I can use this to, to sculpt my nose, I'm sure, because of that neutral undertone. And I've been trying to do this more and more. I like the effect that it gives on camera. Like, it gives my nose a little bit of more shape. But that is nice. It's a very lightweight cream. It's... Is that a sweet smell? It smells nice-ish, but you see, it gives just a barely there contour on my nose as a contour i like it as a bronzer it's definitely not bronzing a thing so in that case we're gonna go in with this dior powder face and body powder no powder okay there we go so the shade i have here is 6n neutral which is one of the darker shades and i got this because i'm like oh i can use it as a bronzer and i also got the face powder but we, we already used a different face powder in this video Oh, 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 guys, guys, look at that. It's like barely there, like you don't see it. It's very subtle, but look at that. Look at that warmth it gave my skin. Let me pop it over here too. Look at the warmth and the bronzing that I'm accomplishing. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Well, see? Mm, mm. What? That is nice. Like, it doesn't look harsh. And I've been realizing that a lot of the bronzer shades that I've been picking up have been looking a little bit too harsh. This doesn't look harsh at all. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay, let me show you something about the pencils. Budge proof. Look at this. I've had them on for a while now. They are budge proof. So, really like the pencils, but they come off with a makeup wipe. You just have to scrub a little bit. So, you will have to use like an oil based cleanser or cleansing balm for this to take them off. But they're not burning my eyes right now, and I like that. All right, now we're gonna finish up. Let's do lips. So, I have two options. I got these from Christian Audette. Okay, so these are in collaboration with Gigi Good. Gigi Good is a drag queen performer. And they were on RuPaul's Drag Race. You may be familiar with them. So they have a collaboration now with Christian Audit. So there are a couple of shades in here. So we have a nude, a red, a clear gloss, and then a dark brown lip pencil. I'm gonna show you the swatches. So I wanna do a red lip, see how it looks with the red eyeshadow, and then I'm gonna do the nude. So I will be right back. Guys, I am back and I just let my hair down and put on some big hoops because with straight hair, you need a big hoop, okay? So, like I said, we're gonna try out these lip colors and I'm gonna start out with the red because I wanna see how like a red plays off this red eyeshadow. So let's go, ooh, that is smooth. So these are a matte finish, but this is so creamy, mmm. And you guys may remember Christian Audette from their collaboration with Mel Thompson. They make beautiful, luxurious lipsticks. They're a little bit more pricey, but the packaging is stunning. It's this beautiful all-white packaging with Christian Audette on it. And then you have the signature from Gigi Good. And the formulation of these, stunning. They're really beautiful. So this red is stunning. It's a beautiful, like, blue tone red that would be gorgeous on the majority of skin tones. What do you guys think? Wait, let me see. Should the hair come forward? Yes. So here you go with the red lip. It's actually playing off the eye look pretty well, right? Am I lying? I'm matchy matchy, but I low key. I'm feeling it with the white shirt, right? You guys love my little goddess necklace. This is from Ana Luisa in case you're interested. It has like a little look. I'm going to show you up close. It's a little goddess body. Look, isn't she cute? But here's the red lip. Let's now go in with the nude because I think the nude is also going to be stunning. So the red shade is named Blood, which has an E on the end of it, kind of like GG Good because the good has an E on it. And this nude shade is called Good. So it's a signature shade and we're going to go in with this. This is a lighter nude but I thought it was so beautiful when I swatched it. And again, it's a very creamy shade even though it has a matte finish. And it has more of a peachy undertone, so it doesn't lean pink, it leans more on the peach to orange side. Let me come in a little bit because I wanna go in with the lip liner, which is also called Wood, but it's a dark brown liner. And I'm gonna use that to lightly outline my lips. And this is actually how Gigi was wearing it in the promo pics with the lighter lipstick and dark brown liner, which I think actually is beautiful on me. But I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the lipstick just to lighten up the center of my lip by the cupid's bow because that, I think, makes my lips look more pouty than having the dark brown liner there. So here you have it. It's definitely a lighter nude. You would have to be into these light nudes that you can mix and create this kind of ombre nude lip. And then the gloss is called gloss with an E. <laughs> so this one is just a clear gloss and I'm just gonna grab a bit of that. With clear lip glosses, I don't apply them directly from the doe foot applicator to my lips because it's just gonna transfer product inside. So I just get some of the product on my finger and rub it over my lips. And here you have it guys, here's the nude lip. What do you guys think now with the red? I love this nude. I love it. It looks so pretty with the lip liner and the lip gloss. I think it is a stunning color. So here you go, guys. Here is the final look, and I think I'm definitely showcasing the eyes here. The eyes are shining bright. Again, we're wearing masks, so you have to just play up the features that are on display, and the eyes have it. Like, look at that. 
right like the eyes look at the eyes again i gotta show you guys the eyes again like look at that what do you guys think i think this eyeshadow is so stunning and how it applied the formulation really great so of all the things i tried let's talk about them the fenty skin tint this is the first thing i want to talk about I love how this looks on my skin. It's so stunning. From YesStyle, I am really loving the Snail Matrix Eye Cream from Scenic. This feels so comfortable under the eyes and it really helps to hydrate. Sometimes my under eyes can get a little bit dry, so I like having an eye cream that absorbs really easily, really quickly without leaving behind something too emollient because then my concealer can crease, so I like that. The concealer from Tarte. I am not loving this, but I do like the Clinique one a little bit better. Um, I'm still going to have to test these out. As far as the mascara goes, I didn't try it on in this video, but like I said, if you're looking for a waterproof mascara, this might be the way to go because these, this is like bulletproof. It doesn't come off, okay? And then the eyeliners are really nice. These are from the McQueen collection and these are really nice as well. They glided on really well. So I know these are going to be like a great price point. So you can definitely check them out. The brow pencils. Okay, here's the surprise of the video. I don't know why, but I really like how the gray pencil looks in my brows. At least at the start, I put it right here and blended it out. And I love the look of it. The black is a little bit too black, but I will fill in the rest of my brow with like a dark brown and use this gray at the start. It gives such a beautiful ombre. Have you guys seen it? Like the black looks a little bit heavy from a distance, but you see the gray? Doesn't it make my brows look pretty na- Right? Am I lying? Like, y'all see it, right? It's so cute. That was the surprise of the video because I didn't expect that at all. The other surprise in this video is the eyeshadow palette. I did not expect a lot from this. I thought, like, mm, what's going on, you know? They don't really do punchy eyeshadows. And I was blown away by the formulation, the color payoff, the blendability. These were so nice to work with. I definitely think you guys should check out this brand. I'm actually gonna go ahead and check out the other shades from this because I am interested in seeing what else they got, girl. Because if I can find like beautiful neutrals from them, I will definitely pick a couple of these up. Here you go, guys. Again, if you wanna try out anything from YesStyle, I will leave the links down below as well as the discount code. You can get 12% off right now with this campaign, but otherwise you still get a percentage off. I believe it is 10%. I will leave the details down below as well as a list of all the products mentioned and used in this video. So thank you again to YesStyle for working with me on this video and sending me some of these products to try because it was so fun to discover some great eye creams. I have the little eye masks that are really soothing. If you want to check them out, definitely check them out. I recommend them. They're very comfortable. They're very relaxing. And you saw some other eye products put to the test so you can make your eyes shine again. And I also tested some other products that, you know, we're going to talk about later in haul videos and then a review video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm going to go ahead and leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.